Hello, I'm Warren Schill, Educational Coordinator here at IBEW Local 46. And as we begin classes again on June 22nd, things are going to be a little bit different than what we've done before. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to have to do everything in our power to prevent the spread of this disease. So we will have certain protocols in place as you come in for class, in class, and after class. And we want to go over some of those protocols with you here this afternoon. So one of the most important things we need to remember as we're coming into classes, if you're sick, stay home. Nobody wants to catch COVID-19. We need you to just stay home if you're sick. So the first thing that's going to happen is you come and come in, you're going to get screened. You're going to want to maintain social distancing while you're in the screening line. You want to remove any hats at least 15 minutes prior to having your temperature taken so that you don't end up with an artificially elevated temperature. And of course, we always have to have face coverings and gloves in order to prevent any spread of the disease. You'll then come over here to the screening station. There are nine questions that have to be answered and someone's going to take your temperature. If you have a temperature of 100.4 100 or higher, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And we're going to ask you to not come back until such time as you have something from a medical professional that says you're okay to be around people. Because our most important concern is that you don't get COVID-19 while you're here and that none of our staff get COVID-19. We will have a PPE table set up for those folks that don't have their own mask or gloves. It also has hand sanitizer and cleaning supplies, disinfecting supplies. We want to make sure that our environment is as safe as humanly possible. We have PPE for those folks that don't have theirs. We have masks, we have gloves. We've got the gloves in three sizes. Gloves tend to run smaller than they really are. If you didn't bring your own mask, you're gonna to have to use one of ours. These are actually set. This provides a level at medium risk where a cloth face covering only provides protection at low risk. So we have these all available and lots and lots of hand sanitizer. If you unfortunately come down with COVID-19, as part of our plan, we had to come up with a method so you could self-report to us. You can self-report to us in complete confidentiality. We will contact anyone you were in class with and tell them that they've had a potential exposure to COVID-19 and we will inform them of the CDC guidelines for possible exposure. Your name will never be released. We have a special email address for that, covid-19reporting at ibew46.com. Please let us know if you come down with COVID so that anyone that you may have been in contact with can be informed. So all the requirements that we are gonna be going over stuff out front, the limited class sizes that we have. This is all required under Governor Inslee's Safe Start Washington plan. We have specific guidance that we had to follow and we had to write a COVID-19 exposure control mitigation and recovery plan. So we have to post occupancies. The doors to the rooms are one way. You'll enter by one door, exit by the other. They'll all be clearly marked. And as you can see, as you come in, This is two rooms that used to combine seat 64 people. It now can seat 24. So one person at each six foot table. We want to make sure that we maintain social distancing at all times, including in the classroom. And because it is so difficult to instruct through a mask, there isn't a seat up next to the instructor. So the instructor can safely remove their mask and speak loud enough so that everyone in the classroom can hear. We have three classrooms just like this that seat 24. Each classroom will have, again, PPE and cleaning supplies. As part of our plan, we will continually be cleaning the high touch surfaces. At the end of each day, we are actually going to be using a hydrostatic sprayer to spray a chemical 
that's the same as the one that's used in hospital operating rooms. Pretty much kills everything it comes in contact in, with in two minutes. And because it's electrostatic, it covers the entire surface. So we're doing everything we can to keep you safe and keep us safe. And it's just going to be different. As you can see, on either side of me, to the front and to the back, we've maintained our six foot social distancing so that we're separated from each other, even though we're all in the same room together. Any class materials, books, pamphlets, will be waiting for you on the table, and you're just going to need to leave them on the table when you go. We're going to make sure that they get disinfected. That's one of the main reasons we're having you wear gloves, because for handling those books, we want to try and minimize the, any potential exposure or contamination. You're going to be required to wear a facial covering. You're going to have to wear gloves. There won't be any food or drink in the classroom. You got to maintain social distancing. All the class times are staggered, 15 minutes. You got to get here on time. Each class starts with a safety briefing. If you miss the safety briefing, you cannot attend the class and it will start promptly at class time. So our evening classes will start at either 5, 5.15 or 5.30 and our Saturday classes will start at either 8, 8.15 or 8.30. And breaks, lunch periods, ending times are all going to be staggered so that we can prevent people congregating together. The bathrooms have occupancies posted on them. There's nice red lines so that you can tell what six feet apart is. And we just want to keep you safe. So welcome back. It's a new reality, but we'll get through it. We'll get the classes done. We'll get you your hours. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me. Give me a call. I'll be glad to address any questions or concerns that you might have. Thank you for listening to this. Have a great day.